everyone. We are heading out today to go meet up with Beth and Alan. Uh, Alan is buying a... Oh, here's the traffic lights out. What's that they're calling? What is that? A side-by-side. -side. A side-by-side -side for uh, the farm. So when we go over there and we boondock, we'll have a side-by-side -side to ride around on, but he's buying it for other things too. So we'll go over and see that. Then we're going to be getting with them and uh, discussing camping strategies for the year uh, we do camp a lot with them then we do some camping by ourselves too so we're going to figure out what we're going to do with them then Teresa and I'll sit down and see what we're going to do uh, just us two going out and camping uh, but we woke up this morning we heard a boom four four, four booms. booms and what was it baby doll a tree had fallen on the power lines and I'm not sure if it transformers um, ruptured or whatever they call that um, but it was definite booms it sounded like gunfire but deeper but you told me being a daughter of a electric uh, american electric power a lineman lineman she knew exactly what had happened so we're gonna head over there like always subscribe hit the bell comment and share and give us some thumbs up um we would greatly appreciate that. Our views have went way up, so we very much appreciate that. We just need you to subscribe and also give us some thumbs up too. And we love the comments, so also do that. We try to get back to each and every one of them right now. So but let's head on over to, is it Rowan County? Stanley. Stanley County. So we're gonna head over there for a little while and uh, we'll take you on this journey with us. We'll see you in a few minutes. Here comes, here comes Beth and Allen. And this is what he just purchased. So we're going to go up here and look at it and unload it. I'll let you let him tell you a little bit about it. Okay, I'm here with, with Al. I'm going to let him talk about this for a few moments. You were going to get another one? Yes, we were all... Uh... I just sold my little utility trailer, just got a new trailer this morning at Tractor Supply. Went and got me a uh, five and a half by 10 foot utility trailer. So, and as we was at Tractor Supply, they had this side by side there. It's a Coleman uh, 550. And we looked at it and my initial plans was I was gonna go to Lowe's and, and uh, get the side by side. But as we were uh, getting the trailer, I was looking at this Coleman. I liked it a whole lot better than the one at Lowe's. But anyway, as we were there, got the trailer, I told the lady, well, let me go look at, back at Lowe's. So we went to Lowe's and looked at uh, their side by side. I think theirs was a uh, 700, I think it was. Uh, but this one is bigger. The inside of the cab is bigger. All I need to do now to get it for the road is get a windshield wiper, then I will get it titled. Uh, and if I can do that, I will drive it over to the farm, which is about, uh, about three miles away. And I won't have to get the uh, trailer out every time I need to go to the farm. And uh, that's what, that's my plan right now, is to get it ready to go. Well, it came with, already with a... It's got a little got a winch on it. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, got... The uh, turn signals on it. It's got the mirrors on it. Uh, 35, 35 pounds is thirty five hundred pounds is what you can pull with the with yeah. the winch, right? And uh, so we're uh, we're excited to get it get it on the road and get it out to the farm. See how it does. Well, you know what this opens the door for, don't you? What's that? If you eventually get you a, a toy hauler. There you go. There you go. Absolutely. Now the ultimate goal also is for Beth is to uh, get chickens out on the farm. And so if we can get this road ready, she will get up in the morning, take the little three mile hike over to uh, the farm, get a little chickens and come back and make me an omelet. <laughs> make you an omelet. That's what she will do. <laughs> uh, we will talk to you in a few moments. We're gonna go out and grab some food and discuss about where we're gonna camp out this year. So we will see you in a few moments. Man, what is going on in North Carolina? 
Uh, it is March the 12th and it is cold. Listen, we're going to go in East Coast Wings. You see right there? We're going to go in there and eat and we're going to discuss some things we're going to be doing uh, this summer with Beth and Alan camping. And then Teresa and I'll probably now, well, uh, we'll probably do this. We'll probably just come on by ourselves later on and kind of let you know what we come up with, what we're going to be doing uh, this year some with them. And then we're going to make some plans to go out and do some stuff by ourselves. So let's go in here and get something to eat. Uh, most of you've ate here before, but we'll kind of let you see what the food is and what we think. The manager just got pranked. So this is a mild buffalo chicken salad with uh, oil and vinegar, and you got a medium uh, buffalo chicken salad with lava ranch. Right, thank, thank you, you so You're much. Yeah, Beth and Alan have boneless, yeah, boneless wings and buffalo. Chips, homemade, the homemade, yeah, homemade chips. chips. What's what sauce? Honey barbecue. Honey barbecue. And the buffalo. And the manager is really nice. Yeah, very nice. He brought the food out, so the everybody's been just really yeah. nice here. So let's eat some of this, and we'll let you know a little bit about it later. All right. They look good. Bless this food, Lord. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey everyone, we were here at East Coast Wings. The service was great. Uh, the manager was very nice. We also met these two ladies, and we're going to then share their Instagram. Hey, I'm, so. I'm Allie. I live in Elkhorn, North Carolina, and my Instagram is AllieGrace.M. And I'm Haley. I live in Elkhorn also, and my Instagram is Haley.Bird4. So I would encourage you to come in here and eat. Also, these two ladies were very polite and nice, got us seated very quickly. So we encourage you to come out and just check this place out. We'll see you on up the road. The few that are friends with our channel know that we often travel with my sister Beth and her husband, Alan. And historically, when we go on trips, we usually just talk on the phone and we discuss where we would like to go and we make the plans. But this year we tried something a little different. We actually met together. Uh, Beth and Alan had their calendar, we had ours, and we just wanted to kind of get a, a little bit of a roadmap, as you would say, where we wanted to go, get everybody's ideas, suggestions. And out of this meeting, we decided um, for the, just for the near future, we were going to go to Mora Mountain State Park in Albemarle. We were going to go down to Camden, South Carolina. And we uh, also decided upon Beech Nut Family Campground, which is one of our favorites in Mount Airy, North Carolina. As well as, first time we're going to go to Lake Jordan uh, State Park. We're going to really try, if we can, to get to a lot of the state parks. We're finding that everybody else had the same idea as us, so we're having a little difficulty finding reservations for two. We typically travel together, we like to be side by side, but um, we'll update you moving forward. We found that the Lake Jordan State Park has lots of reservations available, and some of them are side by side. You can it's like rent a double space. But keep up with us, we'll let you know where we go and bring you on our journey. Hi everyone. I am going to end this podcast program right now. As you see, there's Lady Gary, there's Blue Jean Baby, and we are connected. We're getting ready to head out for our first big adventure for this year. We're going to a state park. 
We'll pick that up on the next program. We did get together. We had uh, sat down and discussed uh, where we want to go, what we want to do. We got every major holiday uh, for the summer booked, but one. That's our wedding anniversary. So do me a f favor. In the comments below, where should we go for our wedding anniversary uh, for three days, Friday, Saturday, and no, excuse me, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Coming back on a Monday. Within about a three hour drive around um, Charlotte, North Carolina here. So we're, we live close to that. So give me some ideas, some places that you all think that we need to try out and check out that you maybe you've been to, you've been to before or you've heard about and you've heard good things about it. So do me a favor, a comment below, let me know where we should go for that. Last year we went to KOA, the KOA up in Boone. We took you with us. Um, but we got some big things planned this year. We, we are staying close. We've got one place we're driving three hours, then we have to drive another hour to get into some things we want to do. But we figured it'd be better doing that than driving the camper uh, all the way to that point. So there's some things around there that we can do. So we are staying closer to home this year. We've kept a couple of uh, weeks open, uh, vacation time tricks it has, to if the price, gas prices go down, that we can venture out even farther and do some things. So, listen, we appreciate you. We thank you for watching our program. Uh, it means so much. Please, if you're watching this on TV, go to your tablet, subscribe, comment, share, uh, give us a thumbs up. We need those also. So, listen, we appreciate you. We, uh, we do thank God for you every day because without you all, we wouldn't have a program. So we will see you on down the road on the next episode. You don't want to miss this one. So we'll see you next time on We're On Our Way.